Peggy 18. Outriders is massive, both in terms of game length and the numbers of hours you'll be able to pour into it, and the physical distance you'll traverse over the course of the story. So today we're excited to show you more of the journey and structure of Outriders. How you move about the game and how the various features, systems and story all come together. In last month's broadcast, we explored the first city, the area of Enoch first settled by the refugees of Earth. Everything from the section of the game unfolded here, in this area of the map. The first city sits within a larger area of colonized Enoch, which you can see here. Here, humans have made a life, as best as they can, and built cities, strongholds, factories and mines as they try to survive. This is where the Outriders are first reawoken from cryosleep and where your first hours in the game are spent. Humanity has always struggled to leave this place. With the raging anomaly storms and monsters preventing further colonization of the planet, pushing society back to the Dark Ages. As you will see though, there is a whole lot more to Enoch. As an Outrider, you're one of the few powerful enough to leave humanity's broken settlements and journey out across this hostile planet. But what does it mean in actuality? Outriders takes advantage of a hub and spoke structure, connecting busy, settled areas, the hubs, with combat arenas and free roam areas, the spokes. The main story missions push you through the game and a large number of side quests and additional content can be discovered on or off the beaten path. As side quests scale to your level, so do the rewards. It means even early side quests can be meaningful played late in the game. And it's worth saying side quests aren't fluffy objectives that take place in the same play spaces you've experienced in the main game. They're new, bespoke areas of Enoch that you could miss entirely and they often reveal more secrets about the world and lore. Let's travel quickly to Eagle Peaks, the snow-capped mountains that encase the war zone, to take on a side quest there. Is this your whole company? There used to be more of us. Something happens to the men up in these hills. We hear voices. Some leave and don't come back. Same for anyone who goes looking for them. But... Maybe an altar could have more luck in finding them. Could you lend a hand? All right, let's play detective. If I was a missing soldier wandering off into the night hearing voices, where would I go? Come on! Oh, come on! Don't do this! Oh, I just came looking for my friend! He belongs here now! We all do! Today, the storm welcomes an apostate into its loving embrace! So it seems the last remaining survivor of our missing soldiers was just sacrificed to the anomaly? We need to have some words with this deadly cult and its leader. ECA! We're only giving you a small taste of this little side adventure. It takes a fair bit longer to make our way into the inner chambers here. And as always, we like to keep some surprises for you. But it's time now for an epic showdown with the altered cultist leader. Yourself a little 
cult brewing up here. I don't know, this place seems to make people flip their fucking lids. Yeah, nice. By completing the side quest, we can now choose a sweet piece of new gear as a reward. With that sorted, let's talk a little bit more about hops. In hops, your weapons are holstered for a time, and you can soak in a bit of life on Enoch. Here you can visit vendors to sell scrap and purchase gear, frequent bars to gather gossip and bounties, call it the liver spinner, and pick up side quests from one of Enoch's many eccentric denizens. What exactly is your business? Certain mercenary services? It's hard to show this without spoilers, but as you progress through the game, the world state and NPC dialogue is affected by pivotal moments from the story and new side quests unlock, some of which are hidden in earlier hubs and play spaces, further rewarding exploration. Combat feats also come with achievements. Complete a collector's quest like a bounty or monster hunt, and NPCs will recognize and reward your triumphs. In bringing to life a new sci-fi universe, we are adamant that these settled areas feel dynamic and alive. Oh, and if Monster Hunts piqued your interest, stay tuned for a future broadcast to learn more about them. Well, this should be interesting. Crucially, hubs also allow you to check in on your Outriders truck and crew, which will grow as you progress throughout the game. We're going to talk more about the Outriders truck in the future, but its primary function is to transport you through the world, bringing many of the features of a town with it. All the functionality you'd expect from a hub hits the road with you. Your weapon vendor, your crafting, your crew. The truck is a moving RPG village. Now you don't operate the truck yourself. That job falls to your driver, Jakob, who we will talk more about later. But the customization options are vast, so you can personalize your ride along your journey. Okay, let's pack up and hit the road now. I need to head to the forest to continue my journey. Let's take a quick moment to introduce the crew. Your rider dies accompanying you on your quest to discover the source of the signal. Here we can see Jakob, who drives the truck and can handle any customization of the vehicle. Jakob was with your outrider during the first arrival on Enoch, 30 years prior. A bright-eyed youth with an exciting life ahead of him on a new planet. Time has not been kind to poor Jakob. Here's Sahidi, who we met in the last broadcast. One of the few people on Enoch with a grasp on science and how to get mankind out of the pickle they happen to find themselves in. You can talk to Sahidi for weapon mods and crafting. We'll be talking more about this topic in the next broadcast. Finally, at least for the moment, there's Bailey, who has been appointed to your team by Corrigan, the Grand Marshal of Trenchtown, who's allowed you to travel through the various sectors of the settlement. Let's go. Bailey hates the arrangement as much as you do, but is forced to join the journey. In camps like this, Bailey also acts as a gear vendor, with a host of unique weapons and armor you can trade for scrap. Other notable features of a given camp? Your stash where you can store and withdraw equipment that you might not be able to hold on your person. The stash also allows you to move gear freely between your roster of player-built characters. Next to the hammer gear, you'll always be able to change and customize the look of your Outrider. And of course the matchmaking terminal, which is hopefully self-explanatory. Before I'm leaving you for this month's broadcast, I'm going to take you beyond the safe confines of the forest enclave. It's a beautiful night. So let's head out there and explore. Hey, do you remember my tunes I used to play? Like it was yesterday. I can still remember some of them. <clears throat> Please stop, Jakob. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. Yeah, Jakob, I'm disconnecting.